is our unfailing Father. Hebrews 13, verse 5, Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Another important aspect of God as a heavenly father is that he is our unfailing father. He's a father who will not fail us in contrast to an earthly father or earthly parents who may let us down, who may not be there when we need them, or we even have in cases of absentee fathers. Father is missing. He's there, but he's not there somewhere else and so uh, we feel let down but in contrast to that God our Heavenly Father is an unfailing father that means he will never leave us he will never forsake us he will never fail us he will never let us down he will always be there you know God is not a father who will abandon us. He's not a father who will be missing when we need him. He's not a father who will go absent when we want to talk to him, when we need him to speak to us. That's not our heavenly father. He is an unfailing father. He will always be there when we need him. Uh, to support us, to guide us, to teach us, to direct us. So we have this assurance in God, our Heavenly Father. He will never fail us. He will never forsake us. He will ne never let us down. He's for us. He's on our side. This is our Heavenly Father. So when you look at God, you can rest assured. He's not going to fail you. He's not going to abandon you. He's gonna let, not going to let you down. He's an unfailing heavenly father. And you and I can be absolutely confident about that. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you have promised you will never leave us. You will never forsake us. That you're unfailing, God. You will never be absent when we need you. You will never abandon us and Leave us alone. You are unfailing. We worship you and thank you for that. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.